right with him. Half a lap to go. Woo, Biffle oh, right out next to the wall off of two. Bush this got a hit up there. This is it right here. Last chance. Cop. Biffle's got to get to him. He can't do it. Can't quite make it. Kyle Bush scores his first Bush Series win. Good for him. Oh, that was awesome. This is the best car I've ever driven in my entire life, even late models, legend cars, whatever. But uh, that was awesome, especially racing Greg Biffle. You know, that was he's the man. You know, he won the championship two years ago. So, man, I just can't thank these guys enough. Through turns three and four. Tomorrow, the headlines will say Bush won a California. Here it is. But it'll be Kyle Busch. Kyle okay. Busch wins in California. Yeah. It's unbelievable, you know, for, for how much joy we're able to share here for a first Nextel Cup win. I still want to be able to dedicate it to all those folks down in Louisiana, Mississippi. I mean, it's a terrible devastation that they've had to go through. And hey, Mr. H, hey. Calling for Rick Hendrick. We're going to donate your share and my share of these winnings to the Red Cross for the foundation Absolutely. down there. Absolutely. There you go. So I saw Carl Edwards do that last night. I thought that was a first class act. And uh, we want to do the same. That's awesome. So. Uh, I can't say enough about the chassis shop, body shop, everybody from the, everybody from sweeping floors all the way up to Mr. H. I mean, it's just unbelievable. Everybody takes so much effort to get here, and uh, we finally got here. Or, he's coming or down. Is Look it? out! He's oh. going to slide up. We've seen him bounce off the wall before, but it won't work <laughs> this time. Oh, here he comes! Kyle Busch is going to take the win. His 30th nationwide series win in his 173rd start and ninth of his championship winning season. What a way to cap off the 2009 campaign. He's there. How deep will he go? Side by side. Runs him up. Here they come for the strike. Who's going to win it? It's going to be Kyle. It looks like it's going to be. Yes, sir. You got it. Winning number 50. Number 50 that makes you the most winning in the nationwide. Good job. It's awesome, you know. I mean, we had Mark with us and uh, had Mark with us there and Loudon with us, and, and, and you know, just a, a phenomenal way to be able to win 49 races and tie Mark Martin, and then to come here and to be able to beat his record at Bristol, one of my favorite places and uh, one of the team's favorite places. So, certainly uh, an awesome race tonight. You know, we had a great race car. Clint, I thought was going to get us, and uh, he was going to be the one we we're going to have to beat, but. Turned out I had to race Joey, my own teammate there. So uh, those guys had a great race car. He has 15 National Touring Series wins at this racetrack across NASCAR's top three series. He didn't have the best car to start, but he's had the best one to the finish, and he's going to make it three in a row today. Kyle Busch wins it. Good job, guys. Nice changes all day, Adam. Way to work on this thing for me, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, the biggest thing was just how much the track changed from practice? I mean, that was entirely different, not even close. And uh, we really had to change our car a lot today. Adam made some really good calls on the pit box and trying to get me freed up, trying to get me to where I could roll. Kyle Busch missed the first 11 races of the season with a broken leg and a broken foot after an accident at Daytona. It's by 20. Down the back stretch. His closest competitor, just a dot in the rearview mirror. Through three and four, no one has battled through as much pain and had as much perseverance as 30-year-old Kyle Busch. Tonight, he earns his first cup title. Kyle Busch, the 2015 NASCAR Sprint Cup champion. Pretty, pretty unbelievable, I guess. You know, this is uh, a dream of a lifetime, a dream come true. And something that uh, that only happens every so often, you know. And I just can't believe it with everything that happened this year and all the turmoil, all the things that uh, that I went through, that my wife went through, that my family went through, and people those around me that they went through. This championship is all for all for these guys, for my wife, my family, and um, everyone who sacrificed so much to get me here and to get me to this place today. Whether it's been on my team right now or on my teams in the past, it's. Uh, Certainly awesome, awesome, awesome. Coming around to lead his 377th <laughs> lap of the race. <laughs> <laughs> to take home his 47th career win. The Candyman comes, Kyle Busch.
gets it done at Charlotte. He is now one everywhere. Yes. You guys are amazing. Awesome job. I can't thank y'all enough. This one's very special. Uh, I don't think there's anything that can top Homestead, just with the meaning of what the championship is. But um, the Coke 600, I've dreamt of this race since I was a kid, and, and being able to win this race, and always watching the uh, the All-Star race, and then the 600 the following weekend, and being able to come out here and, uh, and now win uh, the Coca-Cola 600 is just uh, phenomenal. It's a little boy's dreams come true. And uh, man, I just want to say that. Uh, I thank NASCAR, for one, for giving me a chance to come out here and have this opportunity to race for my dreams and um, to, to accomplish those things. Kyle Busch looking for his 50th career win in the Monster Energy Cup Series. And more importantly, the ticket to the second round. Kyle Busch is going to sweep the Richmond races. Yeah, that was... Uh... Too close for my comfort. I thought we were a little bit better than that on the long run. I know Harvick, that's kind of his specialty, but we had a really, really good race car tonight. The M&M's Camry was awesome. Uh, guys did a great job coming back from a dismal qualifying effort uh, and preparing a really, really good race car for us here tonight. And uh, being able to start dead last, come up through the field and win this thing. That's right, Rowdy Nation. All for you, baby. Between three and four and headed for home. Kyle Busch in his Joe Gibbs Toyota is going to win his 53rd race in the Cup Series and hit his magic number 200 in Southern California. Feels just like number one. Feels just like yesterday. <laughs> uh, man, that was uh, such an awesome race car. I mean, dang, this Interstate Batteries Camry was awesome today. And um, I'm glad we put on a heck of a show for all these fans out here in California at Auto Club Speedway. And to win 200, I mean, Whatever it means, it means a lot to me. It means a lot to all my guys, everybody at Joe Gibbs Racing. You guys are all the best. He is joining Elite Company. Kyle Busch is going to win his second Monster Energy NASCAR Cup Series Championship. Everybody always says you never give up, and we're no different. And we just do what we can do to each and every week. And sometimes uh, we may not be the best. Sometimes we may not have the right track position. Today we had a really good car, and, and I could race around and move around. And that's what's so special about Homestead Miami Speedway is the ability to put on a show. And felt like we did that there racing those guys. I know it kind of dulled out, I guess, towards the end. But um, it was exciting enough for my seat. You know, it was uh, a lot of fun and, and uh, to cap off such an amazing year. Hey Motorsports fans, thanks for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe before you go for all the latest news and highlights across motorsports.